Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a wonderful week and I hope that you are not so caught up in preparations for Thanksgiving that you're feeling that stress. That Do you guys feel stressed before a holiday? Do you guys ever feel that like, wow, I'm not going to get it all done, you know? Um, Especially if you're hosting, right? If you're hosting the holiday gathering. I don't know about you guys, but I always feel like overwhelmed with it. First of all, I have really a small house. So I always have to bring in like folding tables and, and stuff like that. It just makes it uh, a little bit difficult, a little bit stressful. But anyways, I am going to be just doing it like one day at a time. I'm going to hope for the best. I'm going to try to clean my house up. <laughs> If I ever get to it I don't know I've been like sort of really lackadaisical I've been sort of um, I don't know I'm not, I'm not gonna say lazy but maybe that is the best way to describe it I just have been not feeling it I'm not feeling the holiday vibes let's put it that way so <clears throat> anyways if you're curious this is going to be girl talk a little bit of this a little bit of that so if you're curious stay tuned You know, I noticed because like the last couple of months of my life has been really um, upside down. So I noticed I had a bunch of little clips in, in my camera roll that I hadn't really utilized or done anything with. So I thought I'd kind of piece some of them together and, and kind of just do a little bit more of a, you know, a vlog, um, sort of like sitting chatty, girl talk, vloggy type thing. One of the, one of the things that I have been saying, I actually been threatening Jay with for probably the last two or three years. And I've said to him, I want to have Botox. I want to have fillers. And he just freaks right out anytime I do that. So two weeks, is it two weeks now? Two weeks ago, I went to a med spa and I had booked my first facial. And I'd never had a facial before, so I had booked my, my first facial, and I was kind of like playing with Jay, and it was like, you know, yeah, I'm going to see about the Botox, I'm going to see about, you know, what, what they think, because what really bothers me is my, my jowls. Now, I've had my jowls, of course, weight gain, weight loss, aging, none of that really helps. I do, and I use a lot of different products on my skin. I try to firm my skin up. You know, I take a collagen supplement and, you know, and I, and I try to massage my skin. I try to do some sort of face exercise. And while a lot of it helps, I don't really see the huge dramatic difference that I'm hoping to see, you know. And I just realized I have to accept the fact that, you know, I'm 68, am I? Or 67? I don't even know how old I am. Anyways, I'm getting on an age. I'm already on an age. So um, I guess I have to accept that, you know, that it, it is going to be what it is. But I ended up buying, and I almost hesitate to even talk about it because I've only been using it two weeks. I did take a before, and I did take an after. And I ended up buying this. Now, I bought it on the um, Home Shopping Network. It's sold out right now, as far as I know. And it had mixed reviews. I do read the reviews before I buy a product, you know, um, mainly because... I want to know what other people think of it. And I also know that while something may not work on someone else's skin, it may work on mine or vice versa. So I don't necessarily, depending on the amount of reviews, hold, uh, you know, people that say, oh, it didn't work for me because I know lots of times people have unrealistic expectations, you know, at least in real life, in what I see in my day-to-day -day job and, you know, day-to-day, -day, you know, things and skincare and, you know, eyelash serums and stuff like that. Nothing works overnight. Retin-A doesn't work overnight. Nothing works overnight. I know that most people give up before they really test a product, before they really know if it's working. So I always like, you know, I read the reviews and I process them in my mind, but I always, I don't always judge by those reviews because I don't know those, those people and I don't know if they used it for six months or what. So anyways, I had been hearing 
a little bit about this particular pro product. This is from Dr. Tree. And like I said, it is sold out. But this is their Dear, Dear Loose Skin Cream. <laughs> Doesn't that sound good? Dear Loose Skin Cream. And it has some really interesting ingredients. Um, you know, volufilene. Is that how you pronounce it? And it, it is supposed to help with the tightening of your skin. So I have been using this along with the volufilene drops and to be very honest with you the drops this is a pricey number and i i first heard of this from penn smith skincare and when she talked about it she was unsure as to you know she hadn't really used it long enough the ingredients were really the ingredient is is was really um intriguing to her and you know when you start to investigate and, and and read about ingredients you can just fall down this rabbit hole rabbit hole anyways she didn't necessarily review it per se because it was too soon for her but i what, what she was saying intrigued me so i ended up buying this little tiny bottle and i've been using it i still have plenty in here i've only been using it two weeks i took it before and i took a two-week picture i i don't think i'm going to insert them in here because you can't see a difference yet and I take it in the morning and the only thing because on my before picture I had my sunblock on which was the I think it was the color science and it's the tinted 50 SPF so it gives me some coverage so I had that on so I want to be really consistent by putting the same you know morning routine when I take the pictures and I'm monitoring the areas of my deep crevice here and here you know um, my 11s I'm, I sleep with a frowny so it is what it is right i'm just going to keep trying to take care of it but this really bothers me and this is what i keep threatening jay with i know i probably need a facelift and that would make me look woo -hoo. but this um this is what i keep threatening poor jay with so uh i i ended up going i, I started to say i ended up going for my facial and i came home <laughs> i'm gonna insert this little clip in here because it was so funny poor jay was out by the fire pit we need a new poker? Yeah. No. Yeah. We like have a, don't we have a metal poker? Somewhere. In the motorhome? Could be. Oh, my facial was wonderful. Oh, good. You yeah. look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I can put makeup on, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave my skin and let it breathe. Tomorrow morning, I'll be a new woman. Yeah, you're going to be 10 years old. <laughs> Maybe if I go get some Botox. No, you're not getting Botox. Looks like they rubbed your face. They did. They sucked all the crap out of it. I bet you there was a lot. I bet you there was. So he's really nervous I'm going to go ahead and get Botox. I told him, I said, it'd be a great birthday present. But anyways. And I'm still thinking about it because I... I don't know, or a filler, I don't know if it would really help and how I would look. I don't want to be, I don't want to have a distorted face. I've never done any procedures to my skin other than Retin-A, exfoliation. I've never, I've only gone for that one facial ever. So I, I've not done any kind of procedure and at 67, or maybe I'm 68, <laughs> you know, I, I, I've been taking care of my skin only you know, for the last, gosh, since I was 63. So prior to that, nothing, you know, I baked and all that. So I've been doing the Retin-A and all that, but I thought I would give this a try. So I bought the Volufilene. This is the um, small, small bottle of it. It's pricey. And I've been putting it on twice a day. And I just put it on here and I put it on here. I just tap, a, I mean, I just kind of put it, I'm not even a drop, I touch the dropper to my hand, my finger, and I tap it in and tap it in. That's really where I've been doing it. I have not done it around my eyes or anything else, but I've been using this. I, I have then been using this cream the next day. Now, I haven't done the cream at night, but I've done the cream in the morning. So after I put this on and I let it dry, I take the cream and I put a very little, because this is expensive as well, the cream is sold out. So, and then I kind of like put it in upward motions. I have no idea if it's gonna help, but that's what I've been using. So that's kind of like a last ditch. I'm gonna see if this works and see if it helps to soften or to make it not less so deep, um, if that's the right phrase. 
and then maybe I'll consider for my birthday Botox or a filler if I need it. And this is what I've been threatening Jay with, and you could tell by his reaction at the fire pit. He was not at all happy about that thought, and he isn't. So, I don't know. He's he's really funny. We we got we got he got a a drone for Father's Day and his birthday from his son Justin and daughter-in-law. Justin had sent his dad that for the four as a gift and it was his it was his birthday Father's Day Christmas gift combination and it was a drone. So Jay has been teaching himself to fly a drone. And many of you know we got like these e-bikes, right? And so we've been out e-biking and I'll tell you, if you're thinking about getting an e-bike, it it is probably going to be, especially if you live in a in an area where you can get out more often, and maybe you don't get out as often as you should. It it can it can it's a game changer. It can be a game changer for your health, for your attitude, and all that. So, but you need to we need to look at an e-bike realistically, right? They're an expensive product. They handle differently than a regular road bike. So if you've not ever gone on a regular street bike or a mountain bike, then you might not notice the difference so much, but I do. And because Jay and I have biked, we've biked Acadia National Parks and we've got, you know, we have the mountain bikes that we sold and put the money towards our e-bikes, right? So anyway, so he's been practicing with his drone, but he's afraid that he's gonna come down off the tree. So we went biking on the e-bikes and he had his drone kind of follow me. He, it, it's like really funny to see that person down below, that like little speck of a person that's actually me on my e-bike in the neighborhood behind us. And he's practicing on, you know, with the drone. I'm practicing trying to pedal better, trying to, to make corners is the biggest difference for me. And, you know, with the e-bike, they're so much heavier, right? So uh, the, it is like, even if you're, if, even if you want, you're stopping, you have to make sure you stop. You know, you have to make sure you have, you have that under control. So you slow down ahead of time and stuff like that. So we also got a couple of shots of me as I was riding in the neighborhood and all that. And, and like I said, we're practicing. We enjoy it. We, we so enjoy the togetherness of being out on our bikes and just doing something like that, you know, and, and being together is so much fun. We, we also, we went to the beach. We wanted to try to catch the full moon rising and we really couldn't. We did one last beach weekend camping and I got up and I, I got some, a sunrise. A sunrise is beautiful. There's nothing I think more magical than being on the coast when the sun is rising over the ocean and you know it's just you because you're early out early in the morning and it's just you maybe a few other people some seagulls and you just it's just breathtaking to me to watch the sun rise over the ocean I love it I love the fact that I live close enough to the coast that I can drive there anytime I want so we went to try to catch the full moon this week and we couldn't we got up to we got up to the beach and the clouds came in. So we could not catch the full moon rising. It was really kind of like all clouded in. But, you know, Jay was out there waiting. I had a picture of him through the car. It was kind of chilly, so I didn't get out. I knew it was not, I was not going to see anything, basically. But, um, you know, so he got that. And then we, we went to dinner. We went out to dinner afterwards out at the beach. And then we were driving home. And for, long story short, I know I'm rambling, but like I said, this is girl talk, right? Um, I have been wanting a, a GoPro for many, many years. When we first got our kayaks, I think like 15, 16 years ago, when we got our ocean kayaks, I wanted a GoPro because it was waterproof and I wanted to be out there when I was kayaking in the ocean or on the lakes or whatever. I wanted to have a camera that was secure, waterproof, that could do a good job. Well, I'm, I'm you know, I guess I have too many cameras and Jay was like, oh no, no, that's a waste of money, blah, blah, blah. And uh, every time we would go away somewhere, I'd be, we'd be riding our mountain bikes up at Acadia and, and the views are beautiful. And I'm like going, man, if I had a GoPro and Jay would go, no, no, no. So um, two weeks ago, I think it's two weeks ago, we did a Saturday trip out to the, out to the beach and we decided, la it was kind of a last minute decision. I may have already talked about this in a previous video. I can't remember, but it was kind of a last minute decision. So we decided we were just going to go and, um, 
and, and, and go along the coast. Well, all the way along the coast, 29 miles is what we did, you know, up and down. All the way along the coast, every time we stopped, I said, if I had a GoPro, the views I could have had, I could have been filming this while I was, on, you know, having it on my handlebars, and I'd go on and on and on. Jay would be like, just rolling his eyes. Well, anyways, long story short, when we came home from dinner, sitting on the front porch was a box, and it was a GoPro. So Jay bought me the GoPro 10, which I'm like, Holy moly, I'm super psyched about it. I have to learn how to use it, obviously. So he got me the GoPro 10, and I've been like trying to set that up and like, oh, now I want to go paddling, I want to go do this, I want to go do that. Haven't done any of that yet. But I'm so excited about that. So I'm not going to call it my Christmas gift or my birthday gift, but he gave it to me as a gift. It's probably so that I won't think about getting Botox. <laughs> I don't know, but I got the GoPro 10, and so I was really super excited. I don't know if you guys know that camera, but I'm going to do more vlogging with it because it's so small, right? It's just a small little camera that it goes anywhere. It fits in your pocket, your bag, and you can actually, it's wide angle now, right? And it has a selfie side, so you can actually be filming, and no one, no one is going to be paying attention to, like, as if you had a big camera, you know, on a, tr on a, on a selfie stick or a tripod, and it, it was aiming at you where people would really know that. So we're going to do that, and... Um, we're, we're still tentatively planning going to Germany next year. We're, we're really thinking about doing a big trip to Germany. And we're hoping that COVID uh, doesn't interfere. And we're hoping that nothing else happens in our family between my dad and my brother passing away. Uh, it's just been, it's been, it's been a tough couple of years. So I'm hoping that next year we have a breather. My mother is healthy. She's like such a, I'm going to put this picture of her, I, I did her up at Halloween. <laughs> like she's so funny. She's such a, I don't know, spitfire, I guess. She is so funny and she is so vibrant. She, she is just so vibrant. You would never know she's 93 years old. So, and she's a good sport most of the time. So I'm just hoping that all stays good there and, and Jay and I can go to Europe, to Germany, because he has family in Germany that he's never met. Jay's adopted. So, you know, we have plans to, to meet up with his brother and sister. And of course, I have family there that I haven't seen since I was a little tiny girl. So, you know, we're planning on that and I have cousins and we're just, we're just planning a nice little trip. And I'm hoping that everything stays status quo COVID-wise and health-wise so we can go. But, um, yeah, and the GoPro will come in so handy for that, for the European trip, you know, going there. Because we really don't know exactly what we're going to do. But we were thinking of taking a four-day river cruise, river bike cruise, and, and then the rest of the time visit with family and friends and all that stuff. So... That's kind of what we're planning. I, you know, that's kind of what we're planning. So I know this is kind of like sort of a Gabby girl talk thing, but um, yeah, I don't really have much of anything new other than what I'm trying for my skin. And I'm hoping that it, I'm hoping it helps a little bit. And if not, I think the new year after my birthday, I think I might do a little bit of something here you know, to, to whatever. But it, but before I get to that phase, I want to try to continue. Um, I'm going to be trying the microcurrent again. I did have, I did have mine and it broke. Um, and I was using the new face often and it, it broke. So I think I'm getting another new face or I'm going to be getting another new face type of a device. I may be getting one for review but another device that I've been looking at that I'm thinking of purchasing, I haven't pulled the trigger yet, so I'm not going to really mention it. But I'm going to try that and just do go, you know, go out to town more or less with the face massaging and things of that nature. I'm going to try to do what I can before I do any procedures, if that makes sense. So that's my rambling video of this, that, and everything. This I'm super excited, the volufilene. I am super excited about seeing how this works. Two new, like I said, only two weeks. And I don't know about the cream, but between the two of these, this is a pricey number. The cream has the same ingredient, plus a number of other ingredients in it. And 
I don't know, you know, I just, I'm hoping that it makes a difference. I could be, I could be, you know, going down this rabbit hole for nothing, but I'm going to try it. The other thing I have not yet done, I now mentioned this in my previous video, I bought all these false eyelashes and um, I haven't, I haven't done them at all. I haven't used it, but I think this week I'm going to crack these open, the Kiss Lashes, and I'm going to try it. That mirror that I got, which is Kiss My, get it right here, Kiss My Lash. This mirror is, this mirror is awesome. It is awesome. I really love it. So I'm going to be putting that on using this mirror, trying those false eyelashes and see how I do. I hope I, oops, I hope I do okay. <laughs> I do. So anyways, um, I have a wig video that will come through this week sometime. And I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to have a, a, anything for next weekend, Thanksgiving. So if I don't see you before Thanksgiving, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. And I will see you, obviously, the week after or the weekend after. Um, I'm not too sure of Jay and I what we're going to be doing after Thanksgiving. Sometimes we go down to Newport, Rhode Island. We were thinking maybe going down to Cape Cod. But we're not sure. So I'm really not too sure exactly what we're going to be doing yet. But Thanksgiving Thursday, I have Friday off. And that's more of a long weekend. Although I probably should be Christmas shopping. <laughs> That probably won't be. So, yeah, I don't know. When do you guys start your Christmas shopping? I, I, I don't. I don't usually start it till like right before. Of course, I don't decorate because I don't entertain. You know, normally Christmas is at my sister's house. And so my house is so small. I, I have not, since my kids moved out, I've not put a tree up and done all that stuff. So, anyways, I could go on and on and ramble and ramble and ramble. I'm just sitting here talking to you guys. This is sort of girl talk. Got a bunch of other things I could do girl talk on, but I have to save it for another video. So, yes, if I don't see you guys, have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. And stay happy, stay healthy, do what you got to do. Take small baby steps and just keep your attitude up there. I think everything in life is attitude. How you look at things, how you react to things, and there's so much crap going on around us. It's so easy to get sucked into the negativity. So... I work on that. Uh-uh. Not going to let myself do that. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment. Let me know when do you guys start your holiday shopping. And um, again, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.